Oh, and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Lee Code called Happy Number. It's easy. We're going to jump right into it. Write an algorithm to determine if a number n is happy. A happy number is a number defined by the following process. Starting with any positive integer, replace the number by the sum of the squares of its digits. Repeat the process until the number equals 1, where it will stay, or it loops endlessly in a cycle which does not include one. Those numbers for which this process ends in one are happy. Return true if n is a happy number and false if not. Example one, we have n being 19. Here we output true. So breaking these digits up and squaring them, adding them together, we get 82. And doing the same for 82, we get 68. And finally, at 100, breaking it up, squaring the digits and adding them together, we get one. So this is a happy number. Example two, we have n being two and this is false. So doing the same process again, we go from two to four. Then from four, we go to 16. Then we break the digits up. So we get 36 plus one, which gives us 37. And we repeat this process all the way through until we get 20 and we're back in our cycle. So since we're back at two, we would output false. Now we're guaranteed one of two things happening in this process. Either one, we hit one and that's where we stay. Or two, we go to a number we've seen before. So what we want to do is have a set called C that keeps track of all the numbers we've seen so far. Then for each number, we want to split the digits square and sum them up and keep going until either we reach one or we see a number we've seen before. And if we see a number we've seen before, we'd output false. If not, if we go to one, we would output true. So let's go ahead and code this up. Okay, the first thing I want to do is keep a set called scene and this is going to store all the numbers I've seen so far. And now I want to go through every single number until I hit one. So while n not equal to one, I want to split apart the digits and add them together. So let's say we create a helper function in order to do that. So I'm going to call that self.calculate and I'm going to be passing in n. And to write that out, let's define this over here. It's going to take in self and n. Now we want to go through every single digit square it and add it to a total sum. So let's call this current number zero. And while n is greater than zero, we're going to take apart every single digit. So digit is going to be n mod 10. Now this means that we get that last digit of any number because modding by 10 means we take the remainder of what we get by dividing by 10. So for 16, dividing this by 10, we get a remainder of six. So modding by 10 will give us six. Now we want to square digit and add that to current. So current plus equals digit times digit. And now we want to get rid of this number entirely so we can go on to our next digit. So digit is going to equal the float division by 10. So this means we divide 16 by 10 and we remove that remainder. So this means if we had 16, we float divided by 10. We basically just get rid of that remainder and keep what we get afterwards. So we would keep this one and we keep doing this until we go through all the digits and in the end return that current number. So once we have that calculated, we want to define this as our new n. And if n is in scene, we want to return false. We've already seen this number before. So if n in scene, we return false. If that's not the case, then we want to add it into scene. So scene.add n. And we keep going into this loop and either one of two things happen, right? Either we see a number we've seen before, at which point we return false, or n equals one, and this condition doesn't hold true. At that point, if it equals one, then we want to return true. And that is all we need to do. So let's go ahead and submit this. Okay, we're getting time limit exceeded. We have an infinite loop somewhere. Um, let's go through this. Okay, over here, we don't want to change a digit. We want to change that number that we're calling in the while loop. We already got digit. We squared it and added that to current. And now we want to change number to be this new number with that last digit removed. So let's go ahead and submit this now. And it is accepted. So let's run through a super quick example. For example, say we have n being 19. First thing we do line by line is define a set C. Now we see that n is not equal to one. So we call self dot calculate. And over here, n is 19 and current equals zero. Now we see that n is greater than zero. So we want to get that digit. So we do n mod 10. So digit equals nine. Squaring that, we get 81, adding that to current. Current is now 81. And now we do a float division by 10. So n now becomes 1. Going back into this, since n is greater than 0, we get the mod of 10. So that's going to be 1. Digit is 1. And we add digit times digit to current. So current is now 82. We do n float dividing that by 10. We get 0. And now n is no longer greater than 0. So we return current, which was 82. Our new n is now 82. And since n is not in scene, we don't return false. And instead, we add this to scene. n doesn't equal 1, so we're back into this while loop. And we call self.calculate again with 82. Going back into this function, current is 0. n is greater than 0, so we go into this. Digit is going to be n mod 10, so that's going to be 2. And we do digit times digit, add that to current. So current is now going to be 4. Mod division by 10, we get 8 for n. And we go back into this 
we get the digit, which is eight, and we add 64 to current. So this is now gonna be 68. N now becomes zero and we return 68 and set that as our new n. 68 is not in scene, so we don't return false and add that in over here. We go back in this while loop with n being 68. So going through this with 68, current is zero, our digit is eight. Square that, we get 64. And n is now six. Squaring that, we get 36. Add that to current, we get 100. And now n is zero, so we return current. So n is now going to be 100. It's not in scene, so we add this in. And now we call this for a final time. It's not equal to one, so we call self.calculate with 100. Current is zero, n is greater than zero. What's our digit? Digit is zero, so we add to current zero. We remove one digit from n, go back into this. Our new digit is still zero, add that to current. We remove a digit from n, now n is one. So our digit is going to be one. Adding the square of one to current, we get one. And we remove a digit from n, so we get zero, which means you break out of this and we return current, which is one. So now n is one and one is not in scene. So we go ahead and add that in. And now we go into this while loop, but now n equals one. So we break out of here and we return true. And that is exactly what we were expecting over here. So we just went ahead and solved a happy number. If you have any questions whatsoever, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.